YouTube, what is going on? Tanner Pfeiffer here with Pfeiffer Football. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you guys are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It helps me out and turn on the post notifications for my further videos. I am on a YouTube schedule, so you can expect my videos by noon each day. I want to talk about yesterday's day of free agency. Really, really crazy. A lot of transactions uh, going on. I think in the last video I left off with, let's see... The news of Zadarius Smith backing out of his deal with the Ravens. He's still a free agent right now. So he did, I think, sign a four or five, five year deal, but he backed out. Um, let's go ahead and start it off with the Bengals signing tight end Hayden Hurst to a one year deal. Um, this is obviously something the Bengals needed, you know, after they lost CJ Azuma or however you pronounce his last name. But this is just further confirmation that they don't have full faith in their tight end Thaddeus Moss even though he did go to school with Jamar Chase and uh, Joe Burrow they were on the same championship team but this is just I don't think Thaddeus Moss is going to get his chance to start in the NFL it's just that's what it's looking like um, recently released Cardinal Jordan Phillips defensive tackle was signed by the Buffalo Bills to a one-year contract so they're stacking up right now as well uh, the Bills are having one of the best free agencies um, out there. There was further news that the Browns quarterback Baker Mayfield requested a trade. This is not coming as a surprise because, you know, with all the Deshaun Watson stuff going on, the Browns were informed that they're not going to receive Deshaun Watson, but their relationship with uh, Baker Mayfield has just been ruined and he's going to seek a trade. They did say that they're not going to accommodate his trade, but I think they're just trying to raise his... Uh, his trade stock a little bit to see what they can get out of him, but he, he won't be on the Browns to begin the season, in my opinion. The Rams are signing wide receiver Allen Robinson to a three-year deal. Uh, I forget how much it's worth. I didn't report that because it wasn't out at the time I posted this. I think it's like over $50 million or something. So three years, over $50 million for Allen Robinson. Um, big, big news there because if you think about it now, the Rams have Cooper Cup, Van Jefferson. Um, they did have OBJ. He's a free agent. They have Allen Robertson. They have Robert Woods, who's also a free agent. Or no, he's still under contract, but teams are calling about Robert Woods to see if they can trade for him. He is 29, about to turn 30, coming off a torn ACL. So um, the Rams are having a lot of weapons right now, but it looks like OBJ is not going to be back, even though they did plan on bringing back OBJ. They signed Allen Robinson to that three-year deal. So I'm going to say that OBJ is not coming back to the Rams. Um, yesterday, the Giants released defensive back Logan Ryan, who was actually signed this morning by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on a one-year deal. So that is some news there. Logan Ryan did not stay on the market very long. The Tampa Bay Bucks are making a lot of moves. I already mentioned it earlier that the Bills are having a great offseason so far, but they are bringing back Shaq Lawson on a one-year deal. Um, he did spend some time with the uh, with the Buffalo Bills, and he was really good there. He went to the Jets for a while, maybe another team in between there, but now he's back with the Buffalo Bills on a one-year deal. Um, so he's going to join that pass rush with Von Miller on a six-year deal. It's just crazy. The Eagles released defensive tackle Fletcher Cox. This is going to be one of the biggest names on the market, but they are working to bring him back on a new deal. I think it's going to be a one-year deal for Fletcher Cox, um, but he's probably going to have a lot of offers from other teams as well. So I'm not sure if he's going to be back with the Eagles or not, but they are working to re-sign him. The Bengals re-signed cornerback Eli Apple to a one-year $4 million deal. I think this is a really good deal for the Bengals. Um... Obviously, Eli Apple hasn't really had the best career, but he did kind of resurge a little bit with the Bengals. He did. He gets a lot of crap for uh, the Super Bowl and some of the playoffs, but he played pretty decent for the Bengals last season, and uh, they brought him back for a one-year deal on $4 million. Not a bad deal for the Bengals there. A lot of upside. Um, Falcons are signing former Chiefs and Bears running back Damian Williams to a one-year contract. Um, they're just trying to get some depth at the running back position. They haven't really had a, a go-to running back um, since uh, Devonta Freeman was there. Um, the Bears are expected to sign wide receiver Equinemus St. Brown, former Packers. I can't pronounce his name correctly. Um, they 
already did sign him, so I posted this right before they actually did sign him. But uh, St. Brown, former Packers wide receiver, is heading to the Bears. The Bears also signed wide receiver Byron Pringle, former Chiefs, so they're adding some depth there for the wide receiver core. Uh, the Ravens signed Michael Pierce to a three-year, $16.5 million deal. Very good deal for the Ravens. Um, he's going back to the team that drafted him. So after his, the Zadarius Smith deal fell through with the Ravens and he's back on the market, they're like, fine, we'll go back to another former pick that we drafted in 2015 or whenever he was drafted. He's uh, he's heading back to Baltimore on a three-year deal. Pretty good uh, deal there for the Ravens, 16.5 mil for three years um, for Michael Pierce. Pretty good deal. Then obviously there was a blockbuster trade yesterday, and that is Devontae Adams. The, the Raiders traded for Devontae Adams, giving up their 2022 first and second round picks to the Green Bay Packers. Devontae Adams, oh, as you guys know, I'm a huge Green Bay Packers fan, so this does hurt. It stings a little bit, but it looks like this was bound to happen. Um, I guess Aaron Rodgers was aware that this was going to happen, and uh, so I'm just glad the Packers kept Aaron Rodgers in the loop. Devontae Adams probably obviously kept Aaron in the loop as well, but he wanted to go play with Derek Carr again. They were uh, teammates at Fresno State, where Devontae Adams, over the course of two years, led the FBS in receptions, receiving yards, and touchdowns with Derek Carr. So they've been looking to reconnect, and it's been rumored for a while, and it finally happened. Um, and there's reports saying that the Packers even offered more money than the Raiders did, but he still chose that, you know, he wanted to be traded. So the last dance that was posted last season was obviously about Devontae Adams and not Aaron Rodgers. I think Aaron Rodgers really was considering a retirement, so it could have been a last dance for them both. But Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams will not ever be playing on the same team again unless something miraculously happens. Um, the Raiders also signed Devontae Adams to a five-year contract extension that was worth $146 million, $28.25 million per year. Makes him the highest paid wide receiver in the NFL. Um, so the Packers are obviously going to be interested in wide receivers on the market. Um, Julio Jones is one of those names that jumps through. Jarvis Landry as well. Um, OBJ, even though he's coming off a second torn ACL, those are going to be names that the Packers are going to look at. They're obviously wanting to add some depth. Packers will have the 22nd and 28th overall picks in the draft this year. Um, with the news that Devontae Adams is going to the Raiders, they're obviously saving some money, so they're expected to re-sign cornerback Rasul Douglas, which became a Packers fan favorite basically after last season. Um, the Rams are receiving calls on Robert Woods. I think I talked about this already, who was turning 30 on April 10th, coming off a torn ACL. I really like Robert Woods, but he's going to be 30 years old. You're at the peak of your career. The only way, you know, I don't know about that. Uh, talked about this one already. Buccaneers signed defensive back Logan Ryan, so he didn't even stay on the market for like a full 24 hours. Um, this morning, the Cowboys re-signed linebacker Leighton Vander Esch to a one-year deal. Uh, the guy has some injury issues, so if he can stay healthy, he's good when he's on the field, but we're just going to have to see um, bringing him back with, you know, of course, Micah Parsons on that defense. Uh, breaking news 26 minutes ago, the Bears are not, in fact, signing defensive tackle Larry Ugin Ogan Joby. Um, he was on the Bengals last year, drafted by the Cleveland Browns, I think, in 2017. Uh, he failed a physical with the Bears, so he's going to be a defensive tackle that is on the free agent market. So, could be a good pickup for another team, but the failed physical is kind of what is uh, scaring me here. So, there's obviously something going on with him. Maybe it's an injury or he's just out of shape. I don't know. That is all the free agency news from the last 24 hours since I made my last video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much, guys. Um, the retention rate has been going up. The click-through rate on my thumbnails and everything is going up. So thank you guys so much. If you're here from YouTube or uh, Instagram and Twitter, make sure you guys follow me on all my other platforms as well. And I will see you in the next video.